bigger. Okay, get the parsley. I'll just put this the, the um leftovers of seeds back in my little package. And now I'm gonna do peppermint. I'm trying to find my peppermint. I have so much stuff in here. Okay, peppermint. So, let's do the peppermint. It's a peppermint. The peppermint seeds are so tiny. All right. So, let me show you how it looks. And then, after we've done that, we're going to cover it with uh, soil. So I have extra soil in this bucket. So I'm just going to gently put some soil on top of those seeds. You don't want to bury them too deep. I say maybe a quarter to a half an inch and you have to pat it down yep so same thing each each one of them just gently Get down top and just pat it down. It's the same method for each of these little containers. Just pat it down gently. Um, you don't want to bury the seeds too deep. Just pat it down. All right. So if you check um, my other previous video from last year, I get into details how to do all this. So it's the same thing um, when you plant your seeds and I will have a video, a follow up how they look in a couple of weeks. So the seeds, some seeds, um, they're different. Some of them come out after seven days, some of them 14 days, some of them 21 days. So it really depends on what you're planting. Uh, they're all kind of different. So some of them will come out sooner than the other ones. So this is how it looks. So everything is patted down and nice and same on the same level. So now, even though the seed starter mix is damp, I still like to water it from the bottom. Why water it from the bottom? Because you don't want to disturb the seedlings. So what I do, I get some water, pour it at the bottom, and let the seed starting mix soak the water. So the water, because these cups have holes at the bottom, so the seed starting mix would soak the water. And whatever, just leave it for like 20 minutes and to 30 minutes. And whatever is left at the bottom, just pour it out. So don't leave um, this container sitting in the water. So what I do, I just dump the water out. So the water, you can already see that the water is just, it's just drinking the water. Uh, I'm going to bring some extra water. So I don't think it's going to be enough. So I'm going to be right back. All 
All right, so put extra wood at the bottom. And then I leave for 20 minutes and whatever is not absorbed by the seed starting mix, I'm gonna dump the water out. So there you go. And then put this one back and give it like 20 minutes. So it will absorb all the water. Now, one more thing that I do, I do sprinkle some cinnamon on top just because it helps kill whatever fungus. Sometimes you can see like a like a discoloration at the top after a couple of days. That's due to the water um, in the soil and some other stuff that happens. 